Hey there, Dave Nathan here. I hope you are doing well. So it seems right now that the whole world is talking about a little word game called Wordle. Unfortunately, for those of us who use a screen reader, it hasn't been entirely accessible, but actually there is a solution to this, thankfully, and it's through a web extension or something called a bookmarklet. You can make the page work with your screen reader, whether you're on desktop or on mobile. So what I'm going to concentrate on today is the iOS version using my iPhone here. So what I'm going to do is open up Safari browser. Safari. Safari, page settings, button. Accessible Wordle, heading level one, main, landmark. And I'm on a web page called Accessible Wordle. I will share the link to this page. This page has all of the instructions for both desktop and mobile and for options for both a web extension or the bookmarklet option. So there are various ways of doing this, as I said. So I'm going to start exploring the screen. If you are using Chrome on the desktop, Mac, PC, Linux, install this Chrome extension to make Wordle accessible to your screen reader. Make Wordle accessible Chrome extension, link. Once you install the extension, you're done. Reload the page if you already have Wordle open, but otherwise from now on every time you open Wordle, it will be automatically accessible. You won't have to do anything. So that's your first option, a web extension or a browser extension for the Chrome browser on desktop. So you could select that link and install the extension, but we'll move on to the bookmarklet option, which works both for desktop and mobile. If you want to use Wordle on Android or iOS or on another browser, keep reading, but none of the rest of the instructions on this page are necessary if you use the extension. This is a little bookmarklet to make Wordle accessible to screen reader users. It's not a replacement for the game. Rather, you can use it to modify Wordle in place to make it accessible. That way you can play the same game as everyone else. So what that's explaining is that you are using the same web page as everybody else to play the game, but this runs a bit of code over the top of it to make it accessible. It will make more sense when we see it in action here. Works on both desktop and mobile browsers and screen readers. It's a few steps to set up the first time, but then it's very easy to use anytime you want to play Wordle. This is the only way to modify a website in place, especially. If you're on Android or on a desktop browser, below is a link called Make Wordle Accessible. Instead of clicking the link, right-click it and choose Copy Link Address, then keep reading for the next step. Make Wordle Accessible, link. So if you're using this bookmarklet on desktop or possibly on Android, you can get the bookmarklet with that link, but on iOS, you do it a little bit differently. So we're going to keep going. I'm going to swipe right again. If you're on your phone, especially iOS Safari, do this instead. Navigate to the following text field and select all of the code, then press copy. Okay, so that when I swipe right again now, I'm going to land on the piece of code we need, the JavaScript, in a text field. You can copy this to your clipboard with voiceover by using the default triple tap with three fingers, and that's to copy the last spoken phrase to the clipboard. You could, of course, also use the rotor and the text selection option, but I think just using the triple tap with three fingers is the easiest way to do it. So I'm going to swipe right onto that field and then perform that gesture. JavaScript colon let percent 20 is equals equals greater than left curly bracket JavaScript colon let percent 20 is equal. I'm just pausing voiceover speech there, but it is copying that text field into my clipboard, which we will need later. I'm going to go right again now. Okay, if you followed either of the above instructions and copied something, the next step is to make it into a bookmark. Open your browser's bookmark manager and click on the option to create a new bookmark. So what we need to do is save that code as a bookmark. So I'm going to go into the share menu here. Toolbar, share, button, share, messages, button, copy, button. And we need to find the add bookmark or add to favorites button. It's up to yourself, which you prefer. Add bookmark, bu add to favorites button. So I'm going to add it to my favorites. And we are then creating a bookmark here and we want to give it a name first. Text field is editing, accessible word, insertion point at start. Words, accessible. I'm going to change it to make Wordle accessible. Again, it's completely up to you what you want to call it. Delete, E, L, I, 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 cap, A, cap, N, cap, N, delete, cap, N, done, cap, M, cap, M, A, A, K, K, E, E, Wordle, space, space, shift, cap, A, cap, A, C, 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 E, E, S, 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 I, I, B, B, L, L, E, E, Text field is editing, make Wordle accessible, word mode, insertion point at end. And then if we swipe right, we get to the URL. Clear text button. Clear the address. HTTPS slash slash minor. Now that's saving a bookmark for the instructions page, which we're currently on. What we want to do is change that to the JavaScript that we saved to our clipboard, the code. We can't do that here now, though. Safari doesn't let us. So what we need to do is save this bookmark and then go back into the bookmarks manager and edit it. So I'm going to do... Is hit the done button. Dictate button. Done. 
in the bottom right. Accessible Wordle, heading level one, main, land. And now we're going to find our show bookmarks button. Toolbar, share, button, show bookmarks, button, show bookmarks, bookmarks, back button. And we're going to find that bookmark. Vertical, vertical scroll, 10, 90, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 80, 96, 100 percent. Um, but first, what we need to do is go into edit mode. So the edit button is in the very bottom right of the screen. Toolbar, edit, button, edit. And then Toolbar, done, button. We're going to find make Wordle accessible. Wordle, a daily reorder Wordle, make Wordle accessible, button. There it is. I'm Actions there. available. Make Wordle accessible, text field. So the name is fine. What we want to do is find the, the address field and change that. Clear text, HTTPS, slash, slash, minor ninth, insertion point at end. I'm going to swipe right to clear text. Clear text, button. Double tap. Clear text. Text field is editing, address, character mode, insertion point at start. We have the address field is blank. So now I'm going to use the edit rotor to paste in that JavaScript code that we previously saved to the clipboard. Misspelled word, edit, scan, paste. JavaScript, sure text, right. make Wordle accessible, text field. Is editing JavaScript colon let percent 20 is equals. Yeah, that sounds good. So now we're going to hit the done button in the bottom right again on our on screen keyboard. Done. Done. Reorder governor, i.e., local authority home loan scheme. But and we're going to hit done again. So where the edit button was before in the bookmarks window, it's now done. Toolbar, done button. Done, done. button. Okay. So now that make Wordle accessible bookmark with that code in it is saved. So now we're going to go to the Wordle game itself. I have saved this as a bookmark again. The address is powerlanguage.co.uk slash Wordle, but I will share that link in the notes as well. Careers, NC, learn when you'll get software up, air fryer, governor, local authority, accessible Wordle, Wordle, a daily word game. Actions available. Is, so I'm going to select that. Page settings button. Actions available. And we are on the game. Now, parts of the page, it might seem like it is reading elements and that it is accessible. Address, power language, refresh, button, Wordle, statistics, button. For example, I can see Settings, button, buttons. and banner, cap S, cap F, button, cap and F, the button. the keyboard is mostly reading. But when to get into actually trying to play the game, it is not accessible. It's not telling you if you have selected the correct letters or not, and all the crucial parts to the game are not accessible. So that's why we need this bookmarklet to uh, make it accessible to our screen readers, to voiceover in this case. So what I'm going to do is open up my bookmarks again. Toolbar, share, button, show bookmarks, button, show bookmark, vertical scroll 100, 100%. And I'm going to find that bookmark we saved called make Wordle accessible. And that will load up the JavaScript code that we saved in the address bar for that. Make Wordle accessible, actions available, page settings, button, actions available. Here we are. So we're not on a different page. We're still on the Wordle game page, but with the bookmarklet running. So let's just explore the page now. Wordle, statistics, button, settings, button, Wordle screen reader accessibility extension running. So after I swipe across a couple of times, I get to a notification that the screen reader bookmarklet is running. So we know it is working. So now we can just start playing the game. And each time you load up the game, it's one you play once per day at most you simply load up your Wordle game page and then you load up your bookmark and this will be accessible. So I'm going to type a five letter word, which is what you do. You have six guesses to get the right word. It will tell you if a letter is either not in the word at all or is in the word but in the wrong location or is completely correct as in it is in the word and you have it in the correct location. So let's type a five letter word. Let's say chase. Cap C button. Cap C. Cap H button. Cap H. Cap A button. Up arrow. Cap A. Cap S button. Cap S. Cap E button. Minus. Cap E minus. So C H A S E and then we need to find the enter button. Enter button. It's just to the left of the Z on the keyboard. Enter. Now you'll notice we didn't get any actual feedback there, but what it will do is when I navigate around the keyboard, it'll tell me the result for each of the letters I typed. Cap V button, cap X, but C absent button. So C absent means C is not in the word at all. H absent button. H the same. O absent button. A the same, it's not going well so far. S absent button. S absent as well. E present button. But E is present, so we know there is an E in the word but it is not in the fifth 
spot in the word. It is not the last letter of the word. That's what that tells me. You'll hear people talking about letters being red, yellow, or green. That's the same. So red means absent, yellow is present, and green is correct, which mean, would mean that it is in the word and you have it in the right location within the word. Also, just to note, when you are typing out words on the or letters on the keyboard, you cannot use the explore and lift your finger method, the touch typing method. You have to navigate to the letter you want and double tap to select the letter. As I say, you've got six guesses. So after you type each word, the keyboard will update telling you if you have letters either absent, present or correct. And that's how you can play the game with a screen reader. When you finish the game each day, it will also put statistics on the screen, which you can read as well with your screen reader. So that's Wordle with the screen reader. Hope you enjoy the game. Bye-bye.